Alright, hello everybody, my name is Skykiller63 and welcome back to uh, my channel. Today I'm going to be showing everybody how to create a mine, create and maintain a Minecraft Bedrock server. Um, this is the version of Minecraft that is the Windows 10 version, Xbox One, uh, Minecraft version, Pocket Edition, all that good stuff, all cross compatible. Um, so we're going to show you how on Windows 10 to create a server that you and your friends can join that you don't have to pay Microsoft for. So uh, this is going to be a mostly comprehensive guide, but also you're going to have to have a little bit of know-how about how to uh, port forward. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how, but it's going to be a, a fairly quick thing. So um, I'm going to go through it real quick. Just follow the steps. Um, I'll, I'll kind of help you guys out. Um, so first thing to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and search uh, Minecraft Bedrock Server in Google. And it's usually going to be the top result here. Um, if not, it's the minecraft.net slash en or slash en dash us slash download slash server slash bedrock. Now this is an alpha, so things are a little buggy when it comes to this software and even playing on it the last couple of weeks. Um, I've noticed that it's very buggy as well. Um, but basically we're going to go ahead and make sure to read uh, both of these policies and agreements here and then download the file. And it's going to uh, download this little file right here, minecraft-server-1.12.whatever version of Minecraft currently is .zip. So we're going to go ahead and open that up, and it's going to open up the zip file. Now I went ahead and created a little folder on my desktop called Bedrock Server that I'm going to extract all of that information into. So navigate to it, desktop, Bedrock Server, select folder, and you can see that it's selected right here and then just extract. Now it might take a minute depending on how quick your computer is. Uh, my computer is pretty decent so it shouldn't take too terribly long. There's just lots and lots of small files that it's trying to uh, extract from that and put into this folder. Um, so it might take just a minute and then once that's done it should open up the folder with all of those files here. And basically what we're going to look for next is the server.properties file. So this here is going to be uh, basically where all the settings are for the server. Um, uh, let's start up at the top here, server name. I'm going to go ahead and name this just like server test or yeah. And then I like survival. I'm going to change this to hard. Um, I like to allow cheats just in case I need to do something. Uh, you can change the maximum amount of players. Online mode, I always keep that to true. Uh, let's see, server port. This is going to be important. Uh, I usually leave this at default, but if you uh, are already port forwarding with something that is using this port, then you can change it here. Um, I just keep that the same. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the view distance to a little bit more. Uh, I'm not sure what this tick distance really does, but I'm just going to go ahead and double it. Um, player idle timeout. Uh, this is if you have people that are going idle or not playing the game. I always change it to zero. That way um, people don't get kicked out of the server. And then you can just pretty much ignore the max threads thing. Uh, you can change the na name of, this, of the uh, world. Uh, so I'm going to change this to world test. You can also change the seed. This is a bedrock server test. And then don't have to worry about any of these three things here either. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and close out of it. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, come down here to the search bar. We're going to type in CMD and then we're going to open up command prompt. That's going to open this right here. Uh, we're going to need a couple of things from this. So we're going to go ahead and search IP config. Oops. And this right here is the command we're going to type. Press enter on it, and it'll give you basically all of this information here. Uh, you might have quite a few different things here. Like one might say uh, wireless, one might say Ethernet, another one might say something else. Um, since I'm using a wired cable connection, I'm looking at the Ethernet adapter. Um, and then we're going to find IPv4 address. This is what we're going to type into the router. 
essentially to allow this specific computer's IP address that's connected to my router to port over that 19132 or whatever it was. So in order to log on to your router, we're going to type this number here, the default gateway 192.168.0.1 into the search bar here. And then, like I said earlier, you have to know what the username and password is to log into the router. And then we're going to go to advanced, advanced setup, and then port forwarding slash port triggering. Uh, this one is for this specific Netgear router. Um, for the most part, that's going to be about the same place. Basically, what you're going to look for is anything that says port forwarding or for port triggering or anything like that. And we're going to go ahead and click. And let's see, advanced setup, port forwarding, port triggering. Here we go. So you can see that I've already got this one, and actually I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. So basically we've got this here. We're going to go ahead and add a custom service. I'm going to go ahead and name this Bedrock MC, and that port, which I forgot what it is, so I can come in here to the server properties, and I can go ahead and just copy that, it is going to be what we type in on both of these places, the starting port and the ending port. Um, and then we're going to type in 24 since that's my computer's IP address, which again is where we got from right here. And then we're going to click apply. None of the other settings really need to be changed. The important parts are going to be your internal IP address and then, of course, the internal port. So now that that's been saved, we can get out of our router and go ahead and minimize that. And we don't need this any longer. So now we can go ahead and open up the bedrockserver.exe file. Now a little prompt might pop up here for now. Um, when it goes out of beta or alpha, it'll probably go away. But you can see that right here you have the only option of don't run. If you click on that, nothing happens. Or it just closes the app essentially. So you click on more info right here, and then that will allow you to run the program anyway. This is completely safe. It is built by Microsoft, by the Mojang team. Um, it's completely supported. There's nothing to worry about. It's just that they haven't inputted a publisher yet. So you can see it went ahead and did a few things here. It started the server, it checked for the version, it created a session ID for you. Um, we've got the level name of world test. We are at game mode zero, which is survival. We are at difficulty three, which is hard. And then you can see our IPv4 port here, the 19132, is ready to go. So now if we open up Minecraft, if we come over here to play, and then servers, I'm going to delete this one real quick. You can then just add a server. I'm going to name this like server test. Um, my IP address that I'm going to connect to since I'm on the same computer is going to be uh, that internal IP address that I gave already and the port should be the default. I'm going to go ahead and save that. What you are going to give your friends is a different IP address, so if, um, unless they're at home. If they're connected to your Wi-Fi and everything in your house, then that's the one you're going to give them. But if they're like at their own house and you guys are talking over Skype or Discord or something, just go into Google and search what's my IP. And then click on the what's my IP.org. That's my favorite one. And then you're going to see this right here. Your IP address is, and then a bunch of numbers here. This is the number that you're going to give to your friends. For you, all you can see is a bunch of blurred things right now, but it'll be these numbers right here that I keep highlighting. Um, so give them that number, and everything should be good to go. Oops. So once they get that and the port, you can click on it, and it might take a little bit. Uh, usually the first time I find it takes quite a while until it connects. So you might see this the first time. That's fine. Just go ahead and try again. There we go. It finally found it. So now you can see I'm logged in. If I come over here to this, I can see... Uh, if I type in op MVP X Sky Killer, oops, MVP X Sky Killer 63, you'll see in the Minecraft chat that I have been opt. So now I can do commands uh, like time set night, and now you can see it's turning night time. Or I can time set day, or give Sky Killer 63 diamond block 64.
And now I've got a bunch of diamond blocks that I just spawned in because I'm a cheater. Um, basically, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it should run super, super well. Um, again, this is an alpha, and I've noticed that quite there are quite a few things that are pretty buggy about this game uh, right now. I don't and I don't play the Minecraft Bedrock version too much. I mostly play Java, but I had a friend in town, and I wanted him to be able to play with me, so I created this. Um, you can see that I changed the max distance there to 64, and it's running really great. You can see how far I can see off into the distance now. Um, and that was just simply that server setting. So, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, shoot me a message down in the comment section or um, something along those lines. I won't, unfortunately, be able to help you with port forwarding too much. The only advice that I can give you there is just look it up, you know, search how to port forward on model number of router, essentially, and you'll be able to figure it out from there. You guys are smart. I know you are. I believe in you. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.